Thanks for joining this call. Today is about Google My Business. And actually, it is something you probably haven't considered before. But um, let me ask you a question. Do you want to learn Google My Business? Or do you want to sell Google My Business? Or do you want both? So do you, do you want to learn it? Do you want to sell it? Or do you want both? Okay, so I see 90% will do like both and some other wants to learn it. Now, here's the thing. To get started, okay, what you want to do is learn the training, correct? So when you log in, I will explain how the portal works in a, in a bit. But when you log in, all the related training are under the top menu. Google My Business, Optimize, Citation, Reviews, Tips, Strategies, News. Okay? So there's a lot to learn. There are, there are 57 documents uploaded. So if you get impatient, I kind of don't get it because I'm pretty sure you haven't had the time to go through the training yet. I'm correct. So I know you want to do everything at once, but if you want to do both, you also need time to learn the training. So um, I see all those Facebook pause it doesn't work this and that and a uh, question about that you have so much things to learn you shouldn't be um, you shouldn't uh, be uh, I say that uh, time you uh, bored you okay so you should you should have there's so much and it's all nice grouped okay so is a new portal only made for this Okay, I hope you agree with that. Tell me if you agree or disagree. Okay, so there's enough to learn at this point. Okay, and because if you want to do both, then you have to go once at least, at least through the training by yourself. Okay, now having said that, you want to install the team, correct? Now, for that, I created a new tab, Users, Getting Started. And here, you see now new, new elements. So now you have an information block about describe how to install the team. You have the Google My Business video, because I moved it here. Because I think with a video, you have accents and all those kind of things. So then he said, if it doesn't work for for United Kingdom and it doesn't work for Australia because they have other accents. And with a PDF, you don't have that problem. Okay? So I moved this video for yourself. Then the training. So the training is weekly. And we will create short tutorials. Then we have here, Karen is making those short tutorials. And then we have here the first for the payment gateway setup. And you will get very soon how, how, to, how to set up the website and those kind of things in a PDF format. Okay? But it is coming this week. There's no need to be impatient. Okay? It is coming. There's so much going to learn for you. Okay, if you don't see the user tab, do control, I think, let's see, control shift, control, uh, control, and then plus shift, and then the R. One second, I put that in share, in the chat. Okay. So then you refresh the screen. Control Shift plus the R. 
R key. Okay, then you will refresh the screen and you will see users. Here on the users, we will post what the users will see. Okay, and the client will not see users now. One of so I want to put you to ease a little bit. Okay, I want you to. So you said if the client get access, what does it see? So under payments, I will go to it how to do this all under payments. We have action, and then you see client login. Okay, you have a client login, and then this when the client logs in, they will see only this home. Okay, there's no name for me. Okay, and there's no users, there's no payments. It's it's your pure training, okay? Does that make sense? And you can go back to to admin, okay? And then you're logging back where you are as as user. Does that make sense? So now you can view it. How to do this all? You will learn during this hour or in one of the following training. But I want you to put to ease that the client has their own access level okay now the next step the next step is uh, so that is if you can still see users then is a cache problem and we will fix that tomorrow i will for we will clean the cache for you so don't don't uh, freak out, but if you use the Ctrl Shift R, you probably can see it. Now, the next thing what you probably want to do is set up your Google My Business client website. Okay, we're going to do this in two steps. One step is you have your own hosting, you set up your WordPress blog, and from there. You're going to upload the installer plugin and uh, and uh, install the team. So let me go from that part. So this is this is a uh, WordPress team, a standard standard WordPress team. I'm going to log in. Okay. Then I have to find the login information. And now, Let me wait, it's going to log in. And now you see here plugins. Where is plugins? Plugins and and add the new one. And now you go back to the training portal, users, getting started, download the, the installer plugin. Okay, and then you upload it here. Choose file. One second. Even with two screens is still uh, confusing sometimes. So plugins and install now. Activate plugin. And now you will see here the team jack installer. You want to select the drag and drop and submit it. Okay. And now the team get uh, installed a 
one second takes a little bit okay now you go to team jack and go to license and enter the license email okay i didn't prepare that to to use a license email so give me give me a second to get a license email actually uh, yeah one second so that is let's find a license email quickly then Okay, and then verify. Now you go to niche websites, you search on Google, then you cho choose the Google My Business Training website, you select that and import the team. And then it's asking, do you want to override the current pages? It's yes. Or do you want to keep them? Yes. Or do you override it? So I want not to save them. Okay. And now it's being installed. And then I will show you on the front end how it all looks like. But did assume you are familiar with cPanel and you're familiar with installing a WordPress team. I'm going to show you a much easier way. So if I go take this domain name, put it to the right, and I go to this domain name, you will see that the website including the inner pages are installed is that not easy you never have seen it if you are the first time on my training class you never have seen this amazing that a complete website can get installed with a simple simple um, installer plugin now having said that and that is we coming to the next point is here you see click here to start today correct so those are links okay those are links start today those are links for the website visitor to sign up for the service now that brings to the next level where do you get that link do you agree where do I where do you set up that buy link now you go back to the maps uh, portal and you see your payments you guys see your payments you see payments and then you click on payment gateway now you need to set up one of the three you need to set up either stripe authorize or paypal okay so stripe is actually the the most easy one to set up if you haven't one Okay, if you have set up those in in the gateway because you did it for the SSL, you can just copy and paste the information here. So you copy it from from the gateway um, payment gateway setup and you paste it here in, and it works. Can we use Stripe and PayPal together? Yes, and I recommend that. Uh, because then the buyer can choose to pay with card and with PayPal, but you don't need, okay? One is fine too. So if, if it is a hassle, then only do one. Does that make sense? So here are all links to sign up, okay? Sign up link, click here. So on the right hand side, you see the sign up links. And even we have a tutorial about payment gateway okay payment gateway we have a tutorial about this I don't know how many minutes four minutes long 
Now, okay. Now the next part is get a product link. Now, now comes, so assume you have set up payment gateway. Now you want to set up the product links. And here becomes it very interesting. Here actually did this magic. So you will have a default setting and you can edit that. And here you can say, you can give it a name. Okay, you can give it, you can give it a name. You um, can redirect it to another page. So if you don't see use or so, there's a cache problem and tomorrow we will we will flush that out, okay? We will flush that out for you. So tomorrow you will see that, okay? Then you can have a payment description, so that will show up at a credit card or at PayPal. You can you can uh, rename your um, name your portal, uh, name your button label. You can either choose authorize or stripe if that is the case. Okay, most time you only have you have no no choice. Then you can say I also want PayPal, and I come back in the test mode and done for you. Then you can select the currency. Okay, your currency from your country. Then you can decide how much you wanted to get paid for access to the training portal. So in this case. $197 and you can select is if this recurring okay so let's say this yearly and until they cancel okay then you can update the description then you have an option to send a text notification to your own mobile number if if a client signed up so you kind of can get notified that a new client signed up okay you can you can customize the email when a client signs up so you can you can customize what which email they get and you can upload your product logo when on a checkout page any question about this? So there's a lot of settings, but all make sense, correct? It's not that hard. So, so let me let me uh, submit this. And here is the product link. So we were asking where to get this product link. Here you get this product link. Now you go back. You want to change this image. Uh, link okay so you go to the home page and then home page and here you see this checkout so that makes sense correct it's a slider image it's a checkout you change this and then you're looking for where is the link okay here is the link your product URL you say you update the link you save this and update this. Okay. Now, when you refresh this, and you click on this, voila. You guys see this? Here is the sign up link. Here is the price. Okay. And the, and the customer can sign up. Okay, does that make sense so far? Here in the in in the maps portal, you can get the link and you update the link in on the website. That's not too hard, correct? Now you probably want to test the sign up, correct? See if your payment gateway works and all of kind of things. Now, in the product setting, 
there's a test mode. Okay? Select the test mode, and now the test mode is active. Now, in this case, in this case, in the test mode, you're not going to get charged $197. You're only getting sa signed a minimum amount, okay? So now you can test if the sign-up works. Does that make sense? By selecting that box, you can go through the process what the client will see. Okay? Simple, correct? And once you are done with the testing, you go back, okay, and you make it live, okay? Make it live. If you guys notice this is mapsbizpro.com, you guys see this domain, mapsbizpro.com. Everybody see this? Part of the product URL. If you have the white label, it will show your domain. Okay? So it's the white label is really powerful. So it will not show MassBase Pro, it will show your domain with a number behind it. So it will show your domain. Okay? You can upload your own logo, and the portal is, of course, uh, your domain name. If you didn't pick up the white label, click on white label, and how do you get the white label? Click on white label. Okay? You click on the white label, and if you don't have actually the white label, you will get redirected to the sales page, okay? Okay? If you still have problems with that, send a support ticket, and then I will send you the buy link, okay? Now, we already learned a lot, okay? In 25 minutes, we already learned a lot. We learned how to set up the payment gateway, how to set up the product link, how to set up the website and how to get the link to the website so they can sign up, correct? So now there is something but you probably haven't seen and I haven't discussed it a lot, but on the on the Google My Business done for you. So let me put this in this way. Some businesses want to do it by themselves, and some businesses want to have it done for them, correct? So when you when you offer the ball solution on a website, you want to kind of have that benefit. So if you like to provide this service, if you like to provide this service, you can also set up that they can pay you. And you want to get paid a much higher amount or monthly instead of yearly, you want to get paid monthly for this, correct? If you do it for them. So you, so the, now the question is, can you set up a product link? What is the done for you? And the answer is, Yes, you can. Okay? So when you go, I don't know if there's a clone feature. No, you have to add a product. Okay? Google My Business Done For You. Payment description can be the same. Place your order. You can select your your payment gateway and also a select PayPal. Now comes the trick. You see this? Done for you. You select this. And this has a reason. So now the application access now, he doesn't get access to all the training material. He get access, he get just a sign up page and tell, okay, thank you for signing up and I will contact you soon, okay? So you can set, can set your pricing, let's say, 
let's say $97 and you want to do it recurring and now instead of yearly you want to do shards it monthly okay and infinitive and the recurring amount is also 97 you can also say first time it's more work 197 and recurring 197 and this is you done for you google my business okay does that make sense and you can send a text notification to yourself and you can update the email template okay submit now you see here a second product URL everybody see this a second product URL you want to put this this product URL on the DOM for you page okay you want to put this product URL if you want to provide the service you put this on a done for you page okay so you go to the website and the Google my business okay and you want to change the link you can change the link okay go to the dashboard and it is the Google my business done for you so let me try to find it Google my business done for you you edit this and then you see here this image does make sense correct the video the, the content and now the image you edit you edit this block okay and then it shows sidebar setting okay so I cannot do this here I have to go to Google my business sidebar setting so team Jack and I is in the sidebar okay it's a little bit different than the home page I could have made the same but it's not so Google my business don't view sidebar and it is image what are you waiting for the price and then you can change the image And then it's the link okay you update the link save and then update sidebar are you able to offer bot or either training or done for yeah yes you can you can offer bot on the same website and you use two product URLs it is very advanced but very easy to set up okay so go back to the site and you go to Google uh, don't for your business you click on this image again and now you see Google my business don't for you okay and you have same test mode and all of things does that make sense now so you get paid for the done for you solution now you are probably wondering what is the client what does the client see correct in the done for you solution after sign up let me show you this this is the Google my done for you solution and then the action is client login okay client login and then he doesn't see all those training tabs okay so probably I'm going to sh update a little bit of this text we say hello welcome and thanks for signing up for the done for use my best sales we we have received your order we'll contact you soon so you don't see so, so the done for you solution don't see all those training tabs correct you see just a welcome page confirming that he signed up signed up you get the notification you can even 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 get the notification via tax manager that the client signed up and from there you you going to deliver does that make sense can i get a wall factor you i probably you were not expecting so advanced correct it's much better than you probably talked and it is so in one system you have kind of three options 
Option number one is you learn it for yourself. Okay, you apply it for yourself. You don't. You you have no client signed up. Okay, that's not a bad thing. If you are a local mark, you need Google. You need to learn Google My Business. Second option is you're going to sell the training material. Okay, you're going to sell tw the training material. Then you create that product URL. You put it on the client getting website. And the third option is you want also to offer this Google My Business service to clients. And you create another product URL for providing the service. <coughs> Does that make sense? Can log in. So depending on the situation they see the welcome page the welcome page is uh, depending on uh, the type of client to sign up okay so it's 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 pretty unique correct pretty unique yes it is And we will over in the coming days and weeks, we will add more training under users. Okay, getting started. Okay, how well, how to install the team, Google My Business training. We will add. We will pack this up with with many training classes. What I want you to ask is start learning by yourself the training material and start to set up the website okay those are not too hard things now there's an easier way to set up the website it is okay if you like one click system i have something nice to demo okay so it's called Duppy gateway i don't know i'm still logged in or not okay luckily i am Okay, let me answer, answer some questions before I jump to this. What is the white label? So the white label is you can upload your own logo. You can upload your own logo. It will show your own domain name. So once a client signs up, he will not find the solution that it gets offered by others. Okay, it's your domain name. He will not find out it is it is used by others. Okay, does that make sense? The product link is your link. Okay, I mean it has your domain name in the link. Okay, so if you really want to make this your own, you want to set up the white label. Okay. You click on white label and get redirect to to this. Must I buy? You have to buy the domain name inside the, the application. Otherwise, all the setup doesn't work. So you have seen with the product URL and all those kind of things, it it worked. Okay. Okay, when you click on the wallet, I cannot say the cost because now it is a special deal during the during this training to and uh, during this launch. But if you hear this if you hear this recording after launch, it, the price might have changed. Okay, so I can never say about price because during during the launch, prices are different than the regular prices. You can also add an SSL to the domain. Correct. Is also included. You have that option. So you okay? If you bought a domain and it's not active, send it supported. Okay. I don't see the white label on my Duppy Gateway. Duppy Gateway doesn't have a white label. Okay, it is Maps Biz Pro. Can you give the buy link for the white label, please? Okay. I don't know if it redirects or not. No. So you enter the, the, the domain name. 
I don't have the the link at the moment. Do I understand that you control the hosting of the training? Yes, it needs to be. You don't have any problems to set up whatever, okay? You can set up the website, the client getting website on your own domain, on your own, own domain and own host, okay? I'm just going to demo you in a second how easy it is to do it within the gateway, okay? You have to order the main name inside the application. Okay, so Lloyd said, Jack, this is a gift. Others are charging 297 to 497 for less than what you have provided here. It's, it's, do you want me to copy and paste this? I will do that, Lloyd. I don't know if that works. See if I can. I don't know. You got oh can you guys see this? I don't know if you can see this. Okay, so it's during this launch is really a steal. That is, I think, what you kind of want to remember. Okay, let me go back to where we were. Now, if you like one click system, I'm going to demo something you're going to love forever. Okay, within the P Gateway. You have also the name. It's kind of is this hosting based on Amazon service very fast. But the, but the other thing what it really makes it unique is the is the one click system. It's very easy to use. Okay, it's different than you probably have seen before. Okay, so let me do Jack Webinar and let me do install. So you link your domain if you order domain and then the domain they show up here. And you do an install. The the website is in drag and drop version, so you have to remember that. Not the standard local team jack, but the drag and drop version. You can set your your information and you search on the website. Okay. Then you select them, and then you install the team. And now you lay back for one minute, and within that minute, the team get installed. So it is really that easy. Okay, it asks, do you want to override it if already WordPress was installed? Okay. So if you want to add an SSL for your white label domain, it goes, you can do it in one click to the application. Okay. All the replay will be on jackhopman.com. So if you are new, you want to bookmark this, and from here you can find most of the information. Okay, and now let me click on the link, and voila, okay. That is how easy if you if that's how easy to install any site, okay? If you struggling with cPanel and hosting and whatever, forget all about that, okay? Within the gateway, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's all one click. Backup, restore and everything. So this is a team in Derby Gateway. You, the team is also available in Derby Gateway. If you are aware in the preview, if you're in the beginning, I have shown you that you can also start with, uh, 
you can also start with a default WordPress site and upload installer plugin and go from there. But if you are struggling with the technical part, you uh, you uh, you want to check out Dub Gateway. Angle asks, Jack already have the Gateway and SL in the box. Do I still have to buy the Maps Biz Pro in order to get a white label? Yes. It's Maps Biz Pro is and a white label is independent of those other two. Yes, of course, but we need to purchase the message to get actually the training. Yes, yes, of course. So Um, do I have a link? Let's see if I have a link. Here's the link. So, um, today on the agenda was how to get started. Set up Google My Business Client website, okay? Set up the payment gate we covered. Set up the product and Q&A. So I don't want you to overwhelm them because there's a lot to cover. I can show you a little bit more how to customize the website. So let me do that. You go to the dashboard and then you kind of you kind of do two things you go to to update the product links and you going to update your personal information okay so you click on team jack biz and contact you update your own email, your phone number, company name, okay, and your address. And that is basically it, okay? So you can go further to update your Facebook links or whatever. But to update the product links and your contact information is 90%, okay? You can do be done in five minutes, set up the website, and have 90% done. Okay, so the white label link, I got somebody from the white label link, so let me pause it here. Actually, the white label link is very easy to remember, slash jackhopman.com slash WL. Okay, so that's the white label. But you need, you cannot order the white label before you have bought the front end product. doesn't work. Where do I find all back webinar training videos? So you go to Jack Hopman. The webinar from past week stays up here, okay? Jackhopman.com. If you want to go further back, you go to my YouTube channel and then you uh, subscribe to a playlist, okay? So the training videos are here 197 training videos, 179 training videos. That's a lot. So every Tuesday you will get a training session. Once you are in, if you have installed, okay, let me close this. If you are have a, a white label and you order it, the next step, the option will show if you want to add the SSL. So everything flows by itself. You have to add your payment information, okay? So um, that needs to be done first. Should we send them a questionnaire for company details needed? Um, the okay, um, it will have some fields which 
that will ask for the questionnaire. And if you go to payments and you see clients, it will show up here. It will show the name, the email, the city, the state. Okay. So it will have some uh, basic information. Do I need to purchase a domain name using WP Gateway? No. For WP Gateway hosting, you can link the domain. Okay? So if you want to use WP Gateway, you can link your existing domain to show your client getting website. Okay? So link your own domain. Can be done. Cannot be done for the... the Google My Maps training portal for, for WP Gateway hosting. For the client getting website, you can link your domain. Thomas said, I, I recommend, where was it? I recommend buying the domain name to WP Gateway because it is cheaper, said Irvine. So when someone wants the done for you service, we contact them to get the company info. You get the basic info, so then you probably going to follow up via phone or email. So we have at least those two uh, information. Should they add as an integrator or Google My Business? Uh, for each website and for each website and application is good to have an SSL. Ad said, Jack, I, I went ahead and bought the front end and was able to log in MapBiz for anything else I need to do. If you want your white label version, so then grab that. It's still cheap during the launch period. Please tell me what are the things I will need to buy other than your program. By then. So... Um, part of the part of the thing what you want to do is active prospecting, correct? You can do that uh, next training. I will go into more prospecting. So once you have set up your website and familiar with the training, then it is time to go active prospecting. Okay, you can do. I will show you the manual method, and I will show you the automated method. Freddy said, sorry, I'm confused about the wide dip you just mentioned. Did I miss a product that you are promoting as I'm very interested with anything wide label? So the, the Google My Business portal has a wide label option. You can show your own domain name, your own logo, and if you, and your own product URLs. Okay, when you go to payments, products. In the product URL, we show your own domain name, okay? And you can order it via the white label menu link. Okay. So with that said, I really appreciate you guys' attendance today. What I would like you to recommend is, uh, what I'd like you to recommend is uh, go through the training material and set up the website. And then next week, we can go over to the client getting. If you don't see users, that is a cache browser, browser cache issue, and we solve that uh, tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, when you log in, then you will, uh, this will get solved. Um, the, you can also try the Control uh, Shift R key. 
that works most of the time. Uh, let's see if I answer all the questions. Tell me if you provide the Google My Business done for you, or is that something I provide to the clients? You provide it for your clients. So if, when you go to the training material, I think you are you are very well equipped to do to, to provide the service, okay? And you get paid well for it. And the training portal handles that, okay? David said, will you have more done for yourselves in the future like AdWords and website? Yeah, I might consider that. Now we have this system in place. We can... Uh, we, we can build on it, okay? <laughs> Tywo said, wow, Jack, we have no excuse. <laughs> no, you don't. I don't understand your question, Brian. My w gate my WL domain has come true, but what is required to invoke it? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what that means, but can the Google done for you get a client into a tree pack? It's all depending on the competition, okay? But I'm sure you can help it with ranking, okay? So you can build citation, and for some, sometimes you have to do more work than others. P Peter said, I already have clients who are begging me to teach them about Google My Business. This will be perfect for my business. Fred said, Fred, Jack, you are the greatest. Thank you. Okay. Did I miss any question? So how much do we need to spend now? I think I put the buy link in in the chat art. Why would the business like to pay a yearly fee? Okay, so Google makes about 50 major updates um, in Google My Business, they make almost every week a major update, and you, um, they still want to stay on top of it. Okay, when you are in the pack tree, doesn't mean that you stay in the pack tree over time. Okay, you want to keep, you want to stay on top of it and optimize it as needed. Okay. So you want to stay on top of it. Now, thanks everybody for joining this call. It's now about an hour, and next week will more will be more about client getting. Okay. Now you have the training portal. You can go to the training. You have the basic steps for setting up the website, and next week it is time to drive traffic to it. Okay? Thank you so much, and see you next week, Tuesday, 8 p.m. EST.